It's Thursday, December 22nd. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Three days left until Christmas. It's coming really quickly, isn't it? And I have a commercial today that I'd like to do. You know, I've really been enjoying this album. And uh, my friend Ted Kirkpatrick, um, the drummer for Tourniquet, put this album together. It's called Ancient Christmas. It is so good. Would you like to hear just a little bit of it? Let me play a little bit here. Great album, and if you just Google Ted Kirkpatrick, Ancient Christmas, you can download it, and uh, you'll totally enjoy it for Christmas, and it's about that time to start listening to Christmas music, if you aren't already. Well, you know, one of the questions that I get quite a bit is, uh, you know, Pastor Bob, you keep talking about how to know God, how to really get to know Him, but I don't seem to be able to get there. Give me some specifics. I'd love to do that today. You know, one of the scriptures that we know uh, very well, we hear it all the time, is Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. But we don't get it. And I want to explain it to you just a little bit. I want to take it from the Amplified Bible today. And it says it, you know, it, it explains the Hebrew here. It says, let be and be still. In other words, all of those things that are capturing your attention right now, let them be. Let them rest. Take a little time out and be still. Just be still. And then it says, and know, recognize and understand that I am God. Now I want to talk about these two words, recognize and understand, because they really mean two different things. When you read the Bible, you begin to understand who God is. It's a great process. You begin to know his plan of redemption. You begin to know his heart for the world. You begin to know a lot of things about who he is, and you get to know a lot of things about who you are. You know, the Bible is your owner's manual. <laughs> it tells you how to operate, and when you get broken, it tells you how to fix you. But that's understanding. Recognizing, though, is a different thing. Now, if somebody told me about you today, they might explain you by the color of your hair, the size of your nose, the length of your hair, the color of your eyes, all of those things. And so that when I see you, I would probably recognize you because I know what to look for. But recognizing you and meeting you in person is a whole new experience. You see, that's when we really connect. And that's when we really find out that we're in love or that we like each other, we're going to be good friends, whatever it might be. You see, that process is, is an important one. And I don't need to just understand who my friends are. I need to recognize them and feel something about them. So look what the scripture is saying. This is so good. Let be, get rid of all those things that are capturing your attention Put them out of your head, chill out, calm down, be still, and recognize and understand that I am God. So has that been your process? Some of you were trying to read the Bible every day and going through this Bible study, and you're not getting to that place where you're recognizing him because you're not going that extra mile. You know, the Holy Spirit says that he would guide us into all truth. The Holy Spirit said that he would comfort us. The Holy Spirit said that he was that emotional part of God in our innermost being, as we've been talking about. So this is an important aspect of your faith, folks, to not only understand who he is, but recognize him. So here's your, your homework for today. Be still, let be, and then be still. Know and understand 
that he is God. God bless you. Have a great day.